such a powerful when your name is called prove the doubt is wrong you're still mighty and strong let your power fall when your name is called prove the doubt is wrong you're still mighty and strong what does Pentecost really mean? Mm -hmm. Yes, it was the manifestation mm -hmm. of a promise, the answer to the cries mm -hmm. of 120 people, the articulation mm -hmm. of the prophet Joel, the response mm -hmm. to a need. But what do we really need to capture? What is the essence of this event? In the revelation of the outpouring, there is a power. Wondrous in its form, a force far beyond my own power. God's spirit sent down from on high, indwelling the swelling, the sweet smelling, savor resting on the inside of me. It's a power that'll change my language. It's a power that'll shift my thinking. It's a power that will dry up every foul desire. It's my savior's desire for me to have this power. It was his mission to walk this earth and endure the cross so that I may have power. He set up people in a room to receive cloven tongues, to take on fire, to be endued with the dunamis, the exosia, to exercise my right to dominion that Jesus sent down just for me, that Holy Ghost power, that apostolic power, that Pentecostal power, that tongue talking, that demon destroying, atmosphere shifting, life rearranging, soul changing power. Power. Wondrous working power. But please, don't be confused. That power isn't just for one subgroup. It is not just subject to the disciples or for the mothers of the church. It doesn't just come with an organ and some drums. But the power of God, the Holy Spirit is for the old and the young. For inside the church and at home. For now is the time that we must worship in spirit and in truth. And the spirit doesn't have an age limit. So out of the mouths of babes, <laughs> they'll praise him too. So you might as well praise him while you still have a choice now because when all is said and done every knee will have to bow because we are in the last days right God now. has poured his spirit out your sons and daughters will foretell the good news of the Lord the word will never die for the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off even as many as the Lord God shall call and since he's the same God yesterday today and forevermore impossible of change then the promise can be for all it's, it's generational, generational not denominational, denominational. It's, it's time, time to, pass to pass the, the torch. torch we must not lose sight of all the benefits that came with Pentecost so much handed down to man but at times what we possess doesn't match up We've got the tongues, but where are the acts? We've got the evidence, but are we causing people to be freed? We have the foundation, but are we building people up? Pentecost is our charge, but what keeps the fire burning? Joel said that the spirit of the Lord would be poured out, that your sons and daughters shall prophesy. So don't hold them back. It's time to fortify and solidify. We must get back to having our lives in alignment with the word that we preach, making sure God is at the head of whatever we teach. So not to cause a spiritual breach in this spiritual warfare we continue to fight. Because when you speak in the heavenly language, your spirit is edified. You speak in mysteries, give strength to heavenly victories. When you enter into the realm of speaking in tongues, you begin to enter into a place where the heavens come in alignment. God did what he said he would do and let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall. Now we are on assignment, so, so let, let the mouth of, of his, his people, people be filled. filled. Let, let the, the fire of Jehovah, Jehovah ignite. ignite. Let, Let everything, everything that, that has breath, breath declare, declare the, the mighty works of, of Jesus Christ. Christ. I promise sometimes I try to contain myself like some folks do. Lift my hand and cry gracefully so I can leave service and still be cute. But the spirit moving in me is just like fire yes. shut up in my bones. And I have never, oh, come on, yeah. I have never seen anyone on fire be quiet without even a moan. I guarantee it's more exhausting to hold the praise in than it is to release. And I refuse to allow the rock to cry out in place of me. I know what position I hold. Makes no difference whether young or old. So when I go to the throne of grace, I will be bold. 
So with boldness, I declare for Pentecost to fall. We call forth the heavens to respond. We your people. So we say fire rest. Power sweep through this place. Jehovah take control in our presence and fill us until we can't take anymore. Pentecost is here. Pentecost is here. Pentecost is here. Lord, you be glorified. Let your people be Lord, come in and break the chains. Lord, we need you to show your face and will forever give you praise.